Hello, this is Tim Law with Plain It Forward Coaching and Self-Reliance You Always remember your life, your dreams, your goals, and your career are all essential. Whatever your mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Uh, a big thank you to over 350 people that have already subscribed to this channel, Plain It Forward Coaching. If you haven't already, please do. I'd appreciate it very, very much. I have a wonderful young lady going to be talking to today. I think I first met her when she was in middle school. She always had that outgoing bubbly personality. Just a really uh, neat person. Uh, understand that she had just graduated from uh, McDaniel College with a, uh, a degree in elementary education. So welcome, Lauren. And I'm going to say Lauren Marie Bass because my daughter's middle name is Marie. So I'm going to put the Marie in there. So welcome, Lauren, and uh, tell us your story. Well, thank you so much for having me, Mr. Law. Um, like Mr. Law said, I am Lauren. I graduated from Northeastern in 2017. I had the pleasure of meeting the fantastic Mr. Law. He's always such a positive. <laughs> no, stop, stop. They're going to think I paid you here, hon. <laughs> you are just always so positive and so supportive with every single student. So thank you for that. And thank you for having me today. Um, I recently graduated from McDaniel College, like Mr. Law said this past May um, with a degree in elementary education. I had the opportunity to be involved with many things on campus, including a sorority and choir. Um, and it was just an incredible experience. I absolutely loved every moment of it. Well, wonderful. And uh, now tell us a little bit about going forward here, uh, Lauren. You said you've accepted a position and, and tell us a little bit about that. I'm gonna ask you about some of the all the, the things that um, impacted you when you were in, uh, you know, Northeastern High School, as well as uh, the college and everything. Tell us a little bit about the um, uh, teaching position and congratulations on that. That's fantastic. Sure. Well, thank you so much. Um, last week, I accepted a position in Wicomico County, Maryland, on the Eastern Shore in Salisbury. At Prince Street Elementary School, I will be teaching second grade. I am ecstatic and I can't even contain how excited I am to just be able to teach second grade. It's the grade I wanted, and I'm just very excited to have this opportunity. Well, wonderful. And now, um, how far is that a drive from um, from where you live now, Lauren? It's about three hours. Okay. So I've been apartment shopping. So fingers crossed for something soon. I still have some time. Sure. Yes, absolutely. Well, I certainly, I certainly know that because of your, oh, your persistence and drive, you certainly will. And as I think I mentioned to you before we got started here, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Travis Clemens uh, did a very similar uh, uh, routine there as far as uh, going down and working for a couple of years down in, in Maryland. And you have county uh, schools down there. I taught in North Carolina for a couple of years and they have countywide schools there as well. Um, so what, um, what were some of the things in, that you experienced as far as high school that uh, really, you really felt helped you, uh, uh, you know, get to this point, Lauren, as far as, you know, your involvement with things, your, your uh, personality, your, your drive, your persistence? Sure. So I actually, I owe pretty much everything to Northeastern School district all of my teachers and educators from the time I was in kindergarten up until 12th grade have been all incredible they have helped shape me into the person I am they helped um, develop this love for education and wanting to help students that I have to this day um, I would say another big part that played in that was theater and dramatics that was always been a big part of my life. I was so shy when I was young. My mom put me in dramatics and then I just blossomed from there. And I, it's always been such a big part of my life still is. And um, because of Mr. Mars and the dramatics program at Northeastern, it's really helped me shape me into the person I am today, along with being involved with um, Student Senate, Honor Bus, National Honor Society, Choir. They were just all these little pieces to help push me to where I am today. Sure. Well, as you know, I think you already know that Mr. Mars is uh, retiring this year and he did a incredible job for uh, uh, several decades, uh, three decades or so, as far as the school plays were concerned. And ironically, when you mentioned Honor Bus, because again, one of my, my goals with this, uh, uh, this whole interview program with the, uh, this whole COVID issue or whatever is to try to do something to try to further tie the, the wonderful Bobcat Nation together. And I think we've done it, but uh, Mr. Dwayne Schwartz, uh, we have an interview with him on here, and he did discuss the honor bus and the, the stories behind it, which which was just just super. That's for sure. 
So if you could, uh, what were some of the life lessons then, uh, Lauren, that, that uh, you felt you learned, um, you know, whether it was in dramatics or, um, you know, honor bus, anything like that, that uh, you felt really kind of, um, you know, spurred you on it? Sure. So I think it's just being yourself is something that I learned throughout high school. Don't really worry about what other people think about you. Be nice to everybody. Make those connections with people. Like you said, connections are such a big thing in life. And I know that throughout those relationships that I formed with um, my friends that I, I'm still in contact with from high school or college or teachers or colleagues, just that support system that I've gained from people. And just, just don't be afraid to be yourself. Also, I had no clue that I, well, from when I was younger, I said I wanted to be a teacher. Then when I was in, in high school, I was like, I don't know what I want to do. I was like bouncing ideas back and forth. And then so also for kids, like, don't be scared to not know what you want to do when you go to college. Like you will figure it out. It'll be the right path. If you change your mind, it's okay too. Sure. Now with, with some of the uh, people that you were in college with, um, I'm assuming obviously you, you were in there with some of the other elementary majors and everything. And, um, you know, because we're trying to let as many people know about this as possible. Are there any, any of the, the, the key role models that, uh, or, or friends that you had that you were pretty close with there at school? You can, you know, feel free to, um, you know, tell, tell a little bit about them. Sure. So um, one of my closest friends, I met my fresh, freshman year, her name's Amber, and she's really helped shape me into the person I am today. She helps me see like the best in everybody and helps me not be scared of taking risks and everything like that. I've roomed with her all four years of college. And then um, also one of my friends, Rachel, who was in the education program with me, she encouraged me to apply to this position in Wicomico County and she'll be teaching 10 minutes away from me at another school. So she's been a huge support system. And I know these are friends that I'll have for life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, uh, what, uh, what are you most looking forward to as far as this new, uh, this new venture going on down to uh, being a, a second grade teacher? Sure. So I'm just so excited to shape the minds of all these kids like I've had growing up through my elementary education years. I've had incredible teachers, like I've said, going through Northeastern. And I want to take pieces of who they are and incorporate that into my teaching, along with my mother's a wonderful role model. She teaches kindergarten and just pieces of all these people that have been huge influences in my life. I want to transform that and be that teacher for students, be that role model, be, be that role model, be that support system, be that safe space for them. It's a very exciting. Yeah, no, I can tell. And, and now you said your mom's a kindergarten teacher. Where, where is she at? She teaches in West Shore School District. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, and she's incredible. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Uh, you, uh, you certainly sound like you're uh, following her footsteps there a little bit, you know. So how's the rest of your family doing? I don't know your brother quite as well, but I always, uh, you know, he and I always got along very well, too. How, how, are, how are they doing, the rest of the family? Yes, everyone's well. Um, my brother recently bought a house um, in West York. He's working for USA Lacrosse. He's one of the videographers. Wow. And... Yeah, we're, we're, we're so close. We've always been close and he's mm -hmm. been a huge support system. He's like, can't wait to visit you at the beach. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, sure. So it's, yeah. So everyone's, everyone's been super supportive and everyone in my family is great. Thank you. Yeah. Well, and then, you know, I also interviewed uh, Alex Raymond, who's also doing a lot of videography. I don't know if your brother and he collaborate, but I'm sure they'd have some great ideas to pass back and forth with each other. So do you know if they stay in touch with each other? Um, I'm not sure, but Alex's work has been phenomenal. I've loved watching his mm -hmm. journey on social media. He does incredible work. I can't believe it. Yeah, yeah. So talented. And, yeah, and he did, he did, he had a, a real good interview. And what was interesting with him, because he was kind of going the entrepreneurial direction, which it sounds like it might be with your brother too. So again, uh, would, would highly, uh, you know, suggest that, that your brother and, and Alex, uh, you know, connect with each other, you know, just to, just to trade best practices or whatever they can come up with. That's for sure. So, so some, uh, any special memories as far as um, additional things with um, uh, Northeastern middle or high school, Lauren? Sure. Well, the, I'd say the teachers and everyone involved really make Northeastern 
such a wonderful community. I've loved every second of it. And I'm just so thankful to be part of that Bobcat community and um, hopefully find my way back someday. Sure, sure. And what um, what advice would you give to, let's say, upcoming, you know, freshmen, sophomore, juniors in high school, Lauren, uh, as far as, um, you know, what they should be uh, looking for as far as their life's concerned? Sure. So I would say don't be scared to try new things and don't be scared, like I said, if you don't know what you want to do. My senior year in the, in the um, fall, I thought I I was moving to Florida. I thought I was going to school down there. Um, I said, like it said that like during homecoming court, it was like Lauren Bass will be attending Flagler College in Florida. And then in January, I was like, I don't want to go there. So then I changed my mind and McDaniel College seemed like the right fit. So to everyone who's, you know, maybe not sure where they want to go, it's okay. And it will all work out. It doesn't need to be forever. And if you need to change your course of study or take a little break, that is totally okay. Everything will work out. Also, don't be stressed about getting a job right after college because I was very stressed, but everything works out. Just like I said, the perfect opportunity will arise. Yeah, yeah, what well, sounds good. And what's interesting, I did a interview a couple of weeks ago with Bryn McDonald and she echoed exactly what you're saying about, you know, tr don't be afraid to try. And, you know, again, and I think I used the quote with, with, with her when we were talking about, you know, capacity is, is a state of mind. And, you know, you try something, you may stumble and trip initially, but as you, as you kind of get rolling, it's amazing how many doors will actually open up. And, uh, you know, I certainly agree with, uh, um, you know, what, what you had to share there. So any, any last thoughts, uh, Lauren, before we wrap things up and please hang for a minute when we, uh, when we get done, when I cut the recording here. Sure, I know. Well, I just wanted to thank you so much, Mr. Law. Again, you've always been such a positive person and so supportive. Even when I was in dramatics, I know you were always you're always there supporting me and just you're just such a great guy. Thank you so much. Well, I do. I do appreciate it, Lauren, very, very much that you said that. And uh, what's very, very cool, what kind of floats my boat, basically, is when I see young people such as yourself, and whether, the, whether you know, you, you didn't play on any of my teams or anything like that, but when I see young people such as yourself that have drive, ambition, passion, those are the type of uh, young people that I really uh, uh, want to be able to get behind because you, you've got that, it, it's kind of like going off, um, you know, toward the, uh, off into the wind and you're willing to push yourself to, uh, you know, become what you want to become. So that's, that's something I, I really like to see young people doing and there's, you know, there's anything I can do going forward. Uh, you know, recommendation or anything like that, you know, please don't hesitate. Okay. Well, that means a lot. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, all the best, Lauren. And thank you again. Thank you, thank you so much.